delivering an open act, uh, records act request uh, as it relates to the selection, the process, the protocol of awarding the uh, opioid litigation contract uh, in the lawsuit filed by the state of Oklahoma. I'm drawn to this conclusion today after having witnessed some of Mr. Hunter's reactions to other open records requests recently and his refusal to do the same. Um, and as I've researched this issue, I cannot, what I can't find is were, were there RFPs, requests for proposals? Uh, was Oklahoma getting the very best legal representation at the most cost effective rate? Uh, I can't find a contract. I don't know if it's a 10% contingency fee or a 33 and a third contingency fee. I can't determine if there is a cap on the rec recovery award to the attorneys or if it's stag staggered or graded as the recovery goes up. And so it's a simple request that I'll ask, uh, and that's principally, you know, what process was used and what uh, protocol was followed and what is the nature of that contract. We, uh, this is a remarkably important lawsuit to the state of Oklahoma. We are in a crisis, uh, not only in state leadership, but also as it relates to the opioid uh, epidemic in Oklahoma. And every dollar needs to be gained and returned back to Oklahoma for mental health, for rehabilitation services to those addicts and for other very critical uh, services to, the, to, to abate and uh, abrogate this uh, opioid epidemic that we suffer in Oklahoma. So it should be a very simple question and it should uh, not take very long to get an answer. Uh, so I'll be giving that today. Can well, I? What would be a reasonable contingency fee? Um, I think that what, uh, having looked at that very issue for different states, um, there's about, there's 41 states that have joined a coalition that are uh, combining resources to get to a solution. Several states have done RFPs in which they've gotten excellent representation, and I'm not suggesting we don't have excellent representation, but what I am suggesting is that these other states have put caps on what the attorneys can, can earn and the percentages, and I think that uh, we, we see from as low as 5% and as high as 25% for the different states uh, in Oklahoma, in, in the United States. Well, the question, sir, is what do you think, what do you think would be too high? Oh, I think uh, it's a twofold answer. One, a percentage, anything over 20%, I think would be too high. And two, I think there should be a cap on the recovery to the law firm. So, for example, one of the states has had a cap of $10 million. The lawyers can't earn greater than $10 million through successful litigation. Your news release particularly mentioned Glenn Coffey, anything to say about him? Uh, I, I know that he's a donor. Uh, what strikes me as odd in the award of this contract is that within weeks of the contract being awarded, the principals and their spouses and their direct family members all contributed the maximum permissible by law to Mr. Hunter's campaign. And that smacks a little bit of political patronage. You usually suggest more than smacks. I mean, you think it's wrong. I think it smells. Let me ask, you, let's say you win. Uh, you win the primary, you win in November. The uh, trial is about a, a, a year away. And, and if you win, you sworn in, it be a few months away. Would you replace the attorneys if you thought they were getting paid too much, or what would you do? I think a lot of the answers to your question will be made more clear as Mr. Hunter complies with the open records request. If there were RFPs in which numerous law firms were interviewed and several suggestions were made at a higher rate than is presently awarded, then I think the procedure was fine, just not transparent. If, however, there were no RFPs, or if there were other parties that would have done it for less that are equally qualified, then I think we have an issue. So what would you do in, in January? Uh, one, I don't think that the lawsuit, the, I don't think the trial will occur as quickly as, as you have suggested. And two, I will take a very hard look at that. That doesn't mean that the current firm wouldn't retain the contract, but it does mean that the current firm might have to adjust its contract. Mr. Hunter put out a, a, a news release in response to your news release where he said that you ought to disclose any ties you have to, or he didn't say any, disclose ties to pharmaceutical companies. Do you have ties? To I, I have no ties to any pharmaceutical company. 
Nor am I aware of any family member that has any ties to a pharmaceutical uh, company. Represented any of a, any pharmaceutical company? Uh, Fifteen years ago, I represented a, a, a California-based pharmaceutical company owned by relatives. Fifteen years ago. Yes. Okay. Any other questions?